Hello, this is Athena with AMG Creates, and today is the easy card day. Um, I think it took about 20 minutes, and most of it was because I was struggling with that thing. <laughs> You'll see later as I speed it up. Um, I am using S'more, the Merrier, and Smiley S'more. Um, instead of using a bigger card, I took it down to four and a half by five and a quarter, and we're gonna be doing some fun things. So the smiley s'more is a piece it together sort of thing. Um, whenever you're doing this, please make sure to maybe make your, your die cutting thing, the sandwich just a little bit thicker. Otherwise you're gonna have the problem that I had, um, which I wasn't too thrilled with. And of course I am too stubborn to actually like go through and do it again. So I didn't die cut it again. <laughs> But um, I used the craft, the black, and the white cardstock so that I could do some things with it. But as you can see, boy, that struggle bus. Ooh, boy. And it was just for one piece that I was going to put back in there. But I didn't know I was going to put back in there. So it took about four minutes for me to deal with that mess. Um, and then I'm going to be using the black here for the outline, I think. I can't even remember anymore, which is really bad because I have it right here. So I didn't use the black for the outline or anything. I was wondering what would look best. Um, and you figure that you mostly use graham crackers, so the craft paper was the best for the outline. And of course the white for the marshmallow and everything. So it was just me looking around for some stuff. Um, trying to clean everything out <laughs> so yeah I was just basically looking at it deciding what was gonna be the best and I decided on that one so it was gonna be mostly the um, the black background was for the uh, the eyes and the smile And then I had to glue everything down. So that is the awesomeness of um, that whole background is that you have it to um, to glue everything down. And they make a they make a couple of them. So there's a tree, like a Christmas tree, and I'm not sure what else. That's the only thing that I can think of right now because it's the only other one that I have. Um, as much as I really enjoy the idea, I just don't have very many of these. Yeah, you figure you've got the, blo or the white for the marshmallow. And then I was wondering what to do because I didn't want to make it just, you know, the usual. And I didn't want to put black right there. So you figure milk chocolate's kind of a dark brown, so I just made it a little bit darker than the, the craft paper that's right there. And then just colored a little bit with um, with what I had just to make it a little bit darker so that it didn't all look like one color and I do have other I guess shades of brown but I didn't want to um, cut a whole bunch of different ones of these out only to use a little bit of paper so it was easier for me to color them And then just piecing everything back together and I color in the marshmallow a little bit too so that it looks like it's toasted um, I don't know about you but I don't like my marshmallow burnt I actually like mine um, kind of nicely toasted <laughs> um, so I realized that it's still very cold in some places uh, it's the end of February and I wouldn't suggest going camping however um, we're kind of on the on the road to spring, I guess you could say. So you're gonna see a lot of more warmer cards from me. Now that we're out of Valentine's Day, I guess that we go from warmer mush to um, warm, warm want to go outside. <laughs> so yeah, 
toasty marshmallow. And I really do like the colors. I like the the green teal color, whatever whatever color that is, along with the craft paper. Um, I've really gotten into teals and turquoises lately. So you see that I am using um, this, like a couple of things from the s'more the merrier camp set thing to make um, make a background. I did this before in the previous week with a different stamp set. I really like making backgrounds because they truly are your own. In that case too, you could take the time to color them. So if you did a white background or even if you did a different color background, then you can color the, um, like the four stamps that I have here, you could color them a little bit. If you really wanted to, you could um, do what's called fussy cutting, which means to cut them very close to the edge rather than have that um, the white that surrounds it or the, the color that surrounds it whenever um, I cut them out. That is intentional for lawn fun, just so that you have some wiggle room. Um, and then you could put them on there as well. There are a whole bunch of different things that you could do. I do like making backgrounds just because um, unless you re you recreate this from somebody nobody else has this background and I like I like that so now that's all done and it looks almost like it's professionally done kinda um, it's very uniform and everything and then I was thinking about what to do I didn't really want to just glue that guy on there I wanted to give him a little bit of dimension um, you can just glue him on there you really can you can just turn that buddy around and glue him um, but instead I found some foam strip things and I'm gonna put that on him so this is thinner foam tape I have some bigger stuff um, you can buy this over at any craft shop so at Michael's at Joann's. I think you can even do it at Hobby Lobby, but that's not a place that I've gone into. And you just stick it on the back. So this is really good whenever you're just adding some dimension. Um, and then that would be my daughter. <laughs> that hand that was right there uh, was my daughter. She wanted to come in and see what I was doing. So yeah, that makes it a little bit of dimension. It's an easy card with a little bit of pop on it, which is really cool. And of course I cut it a little bit smaller so that you can still see the, the craft card around it. I like doing that, whether that's just a me being a framer thing or it's just, I think it's more aesthetically pleasing. Now I will say, um, before you put any foam tape on this, please remember to put your card down first so that you don't get a little bump whenever you're trying to go over it with the thing. And then of course I was thinking about something to put on the inside, but I wasn't really sure. Um, and of course it's still kind of cute, so I put We Go Together like Campfire and S'mores. So while it's not really a Valentine's Day thing, it's just a, hey, I was thinking about you. It's another way to tell somebody that you'd like being around them whether you do or not <laughs> but yeah I just thought that it was a really cute little card um I think also as it gets warmer it's a nice way to invite somebody to maybe go camping or to to maybe you know go outside and touch grass because you know it's been winter and haven't for a while and even though the grass is still dead that's not the point and I'm getting on the tangent here but yeah so we go together like campfire and s'mores and I like it. So if you like it too, please make sure to like and subscribe. That way you can see what happens. Um, the next card is a little bit more interactive and it will be on Thursday. So I'll see you again on Thursday. Thanks for watching.